George was a piano player. He had a passion for music. He won many awards. He has represented his country in many competitions. His music is loved by everyone. He practiced daily. He was known for his skills. His friends learned to play the piano from him. He played his grandmother's favorite song daily in the morning. He was very popular at his office. His father gifted him a piano on his 11th birthday. A piano works on an electromechanical mechanism. A piano has 88 keys. George had a music school. He taught small kids to play the piano. He had many followers. He always learned new techniques. He aimed to become a famous piano player, and he was very talented. He wanted to make his country proud. Work is important. Everyone should work. We work to earn money. We work to stay fit. We work to be successful. We work to achieve our goals. Hard work pays off. Work involves mental and physical efforts. Working is good. We say work is worship. But working all the time is not good. One must always take some time out for themselves. One must relax and then start working again. We must not be stressed about our work. We should be productive. Working all the time drains our energy. We must take out some time for our family. It is equally important for us to play. It keeps us healthy. One should be honest about his work. Ava was very particular about cleanliness. She kept her house clean. She had a habit of laying down on the floor. She made sure that the floor is clean. She instructed her maid to scrub the floor daily. She did not allow anyone to wear their shoes inside the house. She kept the floor of her washroom and kitchen clean. Ava believed that cleanliness is important to lead a healthy life. She cleaned the floor of her washroom daily and kept it dry. She did not leave her kitchen dirty. She cleaned it after use. She kept the floor clean. She used disinfectant and detergent to scrub the floor. It gave her a clean and healthy environment. Ava inculcated this habit in all her family members. David goes to a boarding school. He was not allowed to use a cell phone. It was time for him to go back to his school after a short summer break. He was not willing to go. His mother tried to convince him. She asked him to make a promise. She told him to write a letter every week and send it to her. He kept his promise. He kept writing letters every week. His mother replied to all his letters. This way, his writing skills also improved, and he was connected to his mother. Writing is a good habit. David's teacher appreciated him for his writing skills. His mother didn't miss him. She used to wait for his letters. This way, they both stayed connected. David thanked his mother for this idea. John worked in a big company. He had a nice job. One day, he misbehaved with his colleague. He was thrown out of the company. He lost his job. Now John had no job. John felt very bad. He was very sorry. He was left alone and had no money. His parents scolded him for his act. John used to stay at home all day long. He was looking again for a job. His misbehavior made him lose his job. He had no money to pay his bills and to party. His mother came to him. She made him realize how important it is to have a job. She also taught him not to misbehave with his colleagues. John promised her that he will not repeat his mistakes. Lauren decided to go to a market with her three-year-old toddler. She sat in the driver's seat. Her baby sat next to her. On the way to the market, Lauren saw her friend. She stopped the car. She came out of the car. Lauren and her friend got busy with their conversations. They saw that the little baby crawled to the driver's seat. He tried to start the car. Lauren and her friend got scared. They immediately came to the rescue. 
Lauren removed the keys. She put him back in another seat, and she thanked God for her reflexes. She promised herself that she will not leave the baby alone in the car. She learned a lesson. She always made sure not to leave the keys in the car. Her small mistake 